Welcome everyone, this is Angel Writer. You probably know me as Angel Writer Speaks or Angel Writer Creations on YouTube, depending on which channel you subscribe to or watch sometimes. I am here taking over for one of your members, and I am very happy that got that funk got a hold of me and said, Hey, can you make some videos for us? Or at least one video this week? Sure. No problem. Here I am. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, got to talk about some FDA, and I wanted to get your input on this. Why? Well, for those of you who don't know, it's the Food Drug Administration, and these are the people that basically, you know, in certain terms, set the rules and dictate how we live, what we eat, what we consume into our bodies. Now, the reason why I'm a little bit ticked off about them is because is that they came out on May 10th of this year with regulations that would not only snuff out vaping and e-cigarettes altogether, especially those people and those of you who want to try smoking, um, but it also affects the cigar community and the hookah users. But the e-cigarette community has the worst as far as the restrictions and what's going to happen to them. Basically, after August 8th, no new product can come out into the market, and that includes everything. The juice, the equipment, the coils, you name it, nada. Then after a couple years, if businesses do not comply, and as everything stands, they have to submit the, this paperwork that will cost, cost thousands of dollars, putting a lot of details into the ingredients, including zero nic liquid, which is supposed to be considered a tobacco product. Anything of this, all of this, inside, outside, is going, now going to be a tobacco product. Now, I'm all for regulations, but when you go to the point where you're going to actually snuff out a $4 billion industry in a couple of years, no. And my boyfriend happens to be a user. I tend to be a casual user. And if this happens, a lot of vapors will go back to smoking and get sicker. And also, people and shops that I go to are no longer going to be in existence. That's not fun. That's not fair. Here's the thing you need to know. The head of the FDA who wrote this and who was head at the time is now gone because she was indicted on charges. Um, I believe it's racketeering. I'm not sure exactly. So what does that tell you? However, think about this. The FDA has approved a lot of drugs, drugs that have gone out to the market that have not only made people sick, but people have died from. My mother, who's a cancer survivor who's taking some FDA-approved drugs, has had to deal with some side effects, and she's had to make sure her body knows what's going on and conforms to what's going on. So, and if you think of the food we eat, uh, yeah, FDA says you can eat this, they tell you this is not good, and even how to raise our children. But think about it, if you rely on the FDA to raise your children, I can see it as a guideline, but not totally, because... From what I know and what I've seen, and I'm not a parent myself, isn't parenting trial and error? So, where do you come in in all this? Well, for my fellow Breakfast Club uh, people who are going to be on this week with me, and who I'm very happy to say I'd like, I'm going to enjoy your conversation, I want to know your experience, especially with FDA-approved drugs or anything that's FDA-related that you know of. Do you know about the FDA? Do you think they overreach and overstep their bounds at times? If you do, and especially if you're looking to quit smoking, you want to try smoking, well, guess what? Or you want to try to quit smoking then with something that's very, very healthy? Guess what? When it comes to the market, you won't be able to get nothing. You won't be able to try nothing. If everything stands and there's no amendments that go through after August 8th. So, having said that, I would like to ask those of you who are interested in learning about more to go to casa.org, that's C-A-S-A-A -A -A O-R-G, and not only find out what's going on, but find out what you can do to help, because we need a lot of non-vapors involved. So, conversation. What do you think? FDA. Yay? Nay? And what are your experience with some FDA-approved things that have made you sick or otherwise? Because let's face it. We shouldn't let a government body rule us totally, right? And we shouldn't be the guinea pigs either. This is Angel Rider saying goodbye and thank you.